Greetings and salutations, my fellow artists. This is, is episode number three of Weird and Creepy Creatures. Today, we'll be making something sweet, something cute. We'll be making a cotton bee. The colors we will be needing for said cotton bee is pink, blue, and black. We will also be needing a graphite pencil and a good old handy dandy eraser. Alrighty, let's get started. Alrighty, so let's get started. First, in making our cotton bee, we will want to make its head. So it's going to be kind of like a little weird almond shape. Then inside of that little weird almond shape, it's going to be this half oval. They will also be needing some antennas. So let's give them some. There you go. You're already almost there. Next, we will want to start a curve over here. Now, this will take some trial and error because it depends on how fluffy you want your cotton bee to be. I would also like to mention that this creature is a combination between cotton candy and a bee so it's not like an actual like piece of cotton it's a cotton candy so we're gonna round those out like this and then we're gonna go off this and go out a bit further Out a bit further, like that, and then do the round off. Alrighty, now we're gonna take our handy dandy eraser. I found a smaller eraser, you can go find a smaller eraser for better control. You wanna, I got a smaller eraser for a little bit more control, so then. Once you get that, you're gonna wanna make his tiny legs. So they're just little, little tube-like deals. And then you're gonna bring that back and then make his little feetsies. Alrighty, you are almost done. So, we're going to make his cone real quick, which is his stinger. Make sure you get those swirls in, give it a little bit more depth looking. Now, we're going to do We'll be getting on to doing his wings. So his wings, we'll do the first wing, which is on the other side. I'm gonna start here, bring it up, and then once you get to a certain point, you wanna swoop it down like that. We will also be adding in some texture. Just gonna bring it up this way. Then, do the little lines that wings of bugs have. There we go. And now you have one wing done. We will be taking our eraser and we'll be erasing this little bit right here because the wing is on this side of him, is on this side of him. So it's going to be just a little bit, a little bit different. Well, a little bit big, 
So we're gonna turn him sideways and about here, we're gonna start his wing. So we're gonna bring it out. And then we're gonna swoop it. Well, I'm gonna bring it up that way. Now I will say, wings do not have to look similar. They don't have to, <laughs> you can try, but it's kind of like putting on eyeliner or trying to match the, trying to match your eyes. Make one perfect good eye on one side and then on the other, it's like, what, what, what happened here? So I'm gonna form it this way. So, and then, There we go. We had our little swoop. We're gonna bring back this little piece of him and this little piece of him. And then, like that. So then, we're gonna add that texture again. Where it's just bringing this out. I made that a little too far. I'm gonna do that again real quick. There we go. Then bring these out. Give the bug wings a little bit more texture. And then there you go. There you go. You now have your cotton bee. Now we are going to be taking the pen. I'm going to be inking him. So I'm going to go ahead and ink him real quick. And then we'll come right back. Now, let's color the boy. First, we're gonna use pink, and we're gonna fill in his cotton with a lovely coat of pink. Cause he is cotton candy, so he's gonna be pink. So, let's do that real quick. And get him all colored with a good coat of pink. It is a very nice shade of pink, though, I will say that. We will also be leaving his wings white in his little cotton piece on the back. His little handle white as well. Next, we'll be getting the black. We will fill in his eye. his eyes black. Sorry if the camera is moving a bit. I keep readjusting it. Next, we'll be doing blue to fill in his limbs. So you'll fill in his legs, the blue, his head, his antennas. And then I'm gonna add a bit more harder pressure on the head and antennas. 
to get that more full of color. And ignore what I just did. Ah, no! It is kind of hard to color and do it looking through the lens. So if I do make mistakes, bear with me. I'm looking through a camera that is on top of a lens, huge lens. So it's kind of hard. So there we go. I'm going to go over my little blemish with some pink. Now, you don't have to do this next part, but I'm going to do it. What I like to do is to make the wings pop out a bit more, is color a color a certain color around him. I'm going to do green because he's probably going to be around. He's going to be in meadows and stuff, so I'm going to do green. You don't have to. And if you do do this, you don't have to. It's just what I like to do to make his... Uh, Lovely wings pop out a bit more. Just give them a nice coloring of green around his body to make him pop a little bit more. Or if you're doing this as like an art project or whatever, do a certain color background to make his wings pop out a bit more. Because it does make it look a tad bit nicer does make his wings pop out a bit more. So, we'll get that done real quick. <laughs> Sorry, my dog decided to bark. So, we'll continue this real quick. Just have to color in all the greens. Not green, but give him a nice green outline. A green background. Because you can already see that it's making his wings and little cone pop out just a bit better. Making his colors pop a bit more. Having the background. So he is almost done. And there you have it. There is lovely cotton bee. Now go forth and make your own interpretations of it. This is the lovely cotton bee, all done and finished. Green backgrounding, pink body, blue, regular blue limbs, white wings, and a white cone. Alrighty. Thank you. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And I hope you had fun making my cotton bee. He's a really, really cute boy. And he makes me happy. So, I'm glad you all liked him. And I hope you still come back for more. But on that note, I wish, will wish you all a very, very good day. And, yeah. Alright. See you guys next time. Bye!